New York Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, the Yankees lost two out of three against the White Sox. A series that the Yankees were supposed to sweep. They almost got swept by a really pathetic team. The Yankees are really weird, folks. The Yankees, sure, they have the second best record in Major League Baseball. But this team is so weird, man. Like, their level of play does not reflect their record. I just don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't. I like the pickup of Voight. Uh, the Yankees had no choice. Tyler Austin was uh, done with options. But Voight has more chains than, let's say, a neighborhood deli sandwich maker. Voight is not going to, let's say, be an impact player for a playoff push or during the playoffs. I'm sorry to say, sure, he's solid, but he's not the player that the Yankees need. Aaron Judge, there's talk that he's going to come back with his wrist still hurting. What kind of mindset is that? You are just setting Aaron Judge to be re-injured again. You are setting up Aaron Judge to have like a gazillion strikeouts when he returns. I don't know. The Yankees are making a mistake not picking up a bat before the August 31st deadline. Maybe they do. Who knows? But in my opinion, guys like uh, Voight, even Walker, in my honest opinion, they're not going to be those big impact bats to, let's say, beat other great teams. The Yankees rely way too much on the home run ball. Imagine when the Yankees are in the playoffs or have to play that one playoff game. Team, a, a team's ace is just going to shut down the Yankees. Luckily for the Yankees, the A's, their pitchers just went down. But who knows if the Mariners, who knows if they put on the batteries and you have to face the Mariners for that one game playoff. And when I talk about an impact bat, I mean an all-star caliber player that's going to scare the other team. You know, winning ball games has to do with a whole bunch of stuff. This is a team supposedly, what is it now, 30 games over 500 or something like that. 32 games, 34 games, something like that. But it does not reflect on their record, or on their level of play. The constant excuses are Aaron Judge is out, Gary Sanchez is out, Gregorius is out. Um, when all of those players were in the lineup, the Yankees played the same way. There's no excuses. You are supposed to beat... The Chicago White Sox, a team way under 500. They have won what? Like 40 games, 50 games this season, something like that? 53 games. You're supposed to beat the White Sox. At best, maybe win two games out of three. Maybe sweep them, but not lose two out of three. You almost got swept as well if the Yankees didn't wake up in that second game. So this is the difference between when the Yankees went on that long win streak when they turned their season around earlier in the season. Between now, they were gaining traction when they won all those games versus the O's. But they're always inconsistent now. When they had that long streak, they would run over teams. But now it's, eh, forget it. We're not going to score runs. We're just going to get beat by... A pathetic team. Uh, just forget it. A team that strikes down a lot. Don't worry. We don't need another bat. We're, we're good. Gary Sanchez and Aaron Judge, Didi Gregorius, etc. are coming back. We don't need another bat. Really. If that's the mindset of the Yankees, if that is their mindset, knowing how inconsistent this team is and knowing that they obviously need a jolt, then really, I don't know what to say. And I'm not even mentioning their starting rotation either. CC is the bat. The old man CC is the bat. I love the guy. But really, do you trust him come playoff time? I kind of trust him in the uh, LDS. How about the LCS? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? This team is so inconsistent that you don't know. This is why I'm always preaching at least make one move before the August 31st deadline. You have to. You know why, folks? Because other teams in contention, they're going to make those moves as well. The way, honestly, this season, when the Yankees are bad, it seems, that, I don't know, 
their record seems that they are, let's say, 70 and 59 or something like that. 70 and 60 losses, something like that. That is the level that they play on when they don't show up. The Yankees need to snap out of it. They are just pathetic when it comes to first base production. Even though Walker, Voigt, they're giving the Yankees a bit of a joke. But no, the Yankees need a impact player, an all-star caliber player to fill in maybe at first base or maybe at right field or maybe left field. Because as of now, Gardner's not even showing up anymore. Man, this team needs to do something. So, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. I mean, what do you think about the Yankees' level of play when they play bad? I mean, they play like the New York Mets when they're bad. Like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.